Hey guys, Cam Photo Picks here, and this is my beginner's colour correction video tutorial. So most of my kind of videos in my blog is aimed at beginners like myself, and this is just a wee tutorial to show you guys how to colour correct uh, different things in a picture, like this model's uh, shirt t-shirt here, and also you could colour correct things like a uh, a red sports car to yellow or from blue to green or whatever colour you really wanted this video will show you how to do that. So what we'll do is to get started we shall just right click uh, the background and we'll just duplicate the layer so that we can work off the copy. So now we're working off the background copy of the picture. Uh, what we'll also do is we will go up to the brush tool and go down to colour replacement tool. That's what we'll be working on. Uh, we'll select a colour, so I'll go for a kind of a ready, rusty ready colour here. Now, what we want is the brush size to be from anywhere from 50 to 200. I've selected 149, 150. Uh, and tolerance, you want the tolerance set to 20. I've already got that set to 20, so that's fine. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom in to the the top that we want to paint over and then it's just a case of painting over the top of the picture now what it does is it samples the colour as you can see my mouse pointer is over the edge but it's sampling it to the, the colour of the top now obviously sometimes when you do this it will sample onto say the model's arm because the program thinks that the colour from the t-shirt to the arm are roughly the same so it will sample it as you can see just there, yeah, obviously the tones and the colour are roughly the same from the edge of the t-shirt the here to the model's arm, that's why it's coloured that in, but that's not a problem. What we can do is we will just erase that once we've coloured in the rest of the t-shirt. So what we'll do is we'll just paint this in. Now obviously I'm just doing this for quickness. Uh, if you were obviously doing this on a photograph from a photo shoot or a family member you'd spend a wee bit more time uh, colour correcting this. I'm only doing this for the tutorial to show you how it's done. So what we'll do is we're just painting over this t-shirt as you can see, making sure that it's all painted. Now if it is looking a wee bit slow in the video uh, it's just down to my computer uh, having to run the recording software and Photoshop. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom into the straps like so. We'll just colour that in and as you can see here you might get the kind of dark and shadowy areas as well. move across and we'll get this strap as well. Now as you can see it's bled over onto the, the model. So what we'll do now is select the eraser tool and we'll just get rid of that there. Now like I said obviously I'm just doing this for quickness. You'll obviously spend a bit more time tidying this up so that it looks a lot better than what I'm doing here but this is just to give you the kind of general idea of how this is done. And just remove what you need there. We'll just zoom in. Put some on the neck here. Now obviously I'm not an expert in Photoshop, so if there's any wee hints and tips that any of you guys can suggest, 
uh, then that would be fantastic as I am still learning my way around it. Can I know the basics to get me by from editing my photographs? Uh, some of the more advanced stuff I still don't know myself. So there you go, there's the colour corrected top, so there's the original and there's the colours corrected. So now what you can also do as well is on the copy you've just corrected, if you click the fill, what you do is if you move the slider down, you can change the fill colour subtly. So now it's went from oh, it's went from green to a kind of a beige colour. And you can bring that straight back up. Also what you can do is uh, select the opacity and just bring that down. So you can have it tap out there. And then that's the two differences between them. Alright, so I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, I will be doing other kind of beginner tutorial videos. Uh, one's coming in the next few weeks will be how to create a layer mask for editing, say, your landscape picture. If you've got a pale or white sky, I'll show you how to basically put a more dynamic, vivid sky in with clouds that will complement the rest of the picture. Uh, I'll also be doing some tutorials on selective colouring. So look out for them coming soon. Uh, also check out my blog, which is camphotopits.blogspot.com and on there you'll find loads of information for beginners, for photography and my tutorials and any news that's going around uh, that I find that's quite interesting. So check that out and hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye.